All right, check it out. Gorgeous. 69. Shelby GT350. Right here in front of the National Parts Depot booth. National Parts Depot is the sponsor of this incredible Mustang show in Sevierville, Tennessee. Ponies in the Smokies. This is our second time here. I love it every time. Look forward to this show every year. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Wow. Very, very cool. Very cool. Check this one out. GT. Nice. And a gorgeous 65 Mustang GT. So awesome. Very, very nice. Love it. Check out that green interior. Wow. Very cool. Love the fastbacks. Got the double red lines. 289. Gorgeous car. So one of my favorite things about the Ponies in the Smokies show is the ring around the convention center has a row of every year. I believe they're all represented. We might have a hole here or there. I'm not sure this year, but we'll check it out right now. This is 64 and a half, the original, first ever Mustang. Very cool. Great example of a 64 and a half. There we go. And then of course the 65, which 65 Mustang was actually my first ever car. Almost that color. Mine was slightly darker than that. But 65 Mustang. And then we have, oh yeah, gorgeous 66. There you go. Did you know that uh, Mustang, Ford sold just an incredible number of Mustangs for those first two and a half years of the car. Just an amazing number, which of course inspired everybody else to get in on the pony car race. And you ended up with the 67 Camaro coming out soon after, and then the battle was on. But Mustang just put out an incredible number of cars. I'm not gonna throw the number out there because I don't remember exactly, but we're talking like over a million cars um, in those first two and a half years. Here we go, 67. See how the difference? Car gets just a little bit bigger, a little wider. And 67, you get those two vents there on the side. That's the big giveaway for 67s. This is an awesome, awesome example of an original 67. Very cool, very cool car. Then 68, so you got that scoop on the side. It's all one thing instead of the two separated parts there. That's the big giveaway between 67 and 68 right there. Uh, let me backtrack just a little bit. See the 66 here, even in the Shelby version. 66, you got those horizontal bars. The big difference there, 65, you got the honeycomb grills. 64 and a half, 65, honeycomb grills, 66, horizontal bars. Big giveaway, all right? All right, 67, 68, very cool car, nice. Then we get new body style, completely 69. 69, you got the double headlights and you got the quarter panel scoop back there. A lot of them have that medallion see right there so this is roped off I can't get any further in there for this but gorgeous gorgeous car for this 69 very nice and this is a boss 429 look at that massive massive heads on that boss of 429 very cool then we have boss 302 from 1970 so 69 you got the double headlights 70 you got the vents and no quarter scoop you got a smooth quarter panel unlike the 69 boss 302 with the shaker look at that wow incredible ride all right check this out gorgeous 1971 
Boss 351. One of my all-time favorite cars is the Boss 351 from 71. You've got the hockey stripe going on, You've got the Ram Air vents. Very, very cool car. Nice. Nice. So, big design change from 70 to 71. And then from 71 to 72, basically zero design change. Like you cannot physically tell these cars apart just from looking at the body from 71 to 72. This is a beautiful, beautiful 72. Love that color. Everything's awesome. It's so nice. So in 71, 72, so you got the horizontal lights there in the grill. That's one of the big changes to 73. So 73 is real easy to tell the difference because you got those vertical lights. It's also a different bumper. Um, see how that bumper sticks way out there on the bottom? Look here. Much smaller bumper on the 71, 72. That was a uh, collision thing. The bumper had to be rated for you know certain speed, all that. So they had to change the design of it a little bit. So that's the 73, beautiful convertible. Very nice. I can actually get around this one a little bit because it's breaking the chain here. Got that interior. Very cool. Beautiful 73. So there you go. There's 64 and a half through 73. And as you all know, we had a huge change between 73 and 74. So let's check those out. So in 74, the whole world of Mustangs changed. You got the Mustang II, a lot more fuel economy. You know what, folks? We are missing a 74, so here's the 75. So we did skip one year, but basically the 74 looks exactly like the 75. There you go. Crazy enough, though, there was a huge sale of these cars. The Mustang 2s sold outrageously. They did very well. So there's a Fastback Mustang 2. 76. And then 77 Mustang 2 Fastback. And that's a 302. You got the Cobra 2s. So this is a 78 Mustang 2 Cobra 2. You got the louvers. You've got louvers on the, wind, the side windows. You can't see out of them anyway, might as well have louvers, right? <laughs> Pretty cool car right there. Cobra 2 from 1978. And then, huge change. 79. From 78 to 79, we got the big body shift again. There you go, 79 Mustang. 80. Not much change there. 81. Here we go, 82. Eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, 84, 85, 86. And we get a little bit of a change here in 87. Check out that front end. Shift in the front end there with the headlights and everything. 87, 88 convertible. Check it out. Nice. Yeah. 89, 90, Celine, Celine, and 90, 91, there we go, 92, Mustang GT convertible, isn't that nice, very cool, okay, this 93, and yeah, I get a little nostalgic with these models right here because that's when I was in high school, folks. So I remember these well. That's when I first started driving. And then to 94, huge change again. So 93, 94, big change. There you go. It was 95. <laughs> Love that. 
That's a cool wrap. 96, 7, 98, 99. Look at the difference. There you go, 98, 99. 2000, 01, 02, it's beautiful 03, ah, we got a shaker going on, nice, 04, 05, look at the difference, big change from 04, 05. Six. Very cool. Tear this 07. That's gorgeous. GT. Shelby GT. 08 GT 500. Very nice. Yeah. Now this GT 500. 09. Very nice. I like that. Here we go. 2010 convertible very cool now yeah, see the di see the difference between the 09 2010 a little more subtle than some of the differences but big difference 2011 nice a couple of bosses here 2012. 2013. Very cool. Check it out. 2013. And 2014. Body shift. Here we go. 2015. Very different looking car. 2016. Nice. 2017. Check out this 2018. That's cool. 2019. 2020. Very cool ride right there. We're getting close to modern, the current year 2021. Here we go. Just a few more. 2022. Nice. Wow. There we go. 2023. And one more. There you go, folks. Clay Trantham's 2024 Mustang Grabber Blue. There you go. That's all the generations of Mustangs. So nice. All right, I'll check this out. One of the coolest resto mods of the day. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. 67. 67 Fastback. The Gen 2 Coyote. Nice. Look at that paint. Wheels. Yeah, that's a beast right there. Top Gun 67, you can look it up on Instagram. <laughs> that's just vicious. I love it. If you like a resto mod, this is the car right here. That's right. Very cool. Very cool ride. Check out this 66. Look at that. Beast. Gorgeous car. Very cool. Alright folks, one of our favorite cars. Here we go. It's Kathleen Woodridge 68 Shelby convertible. Look at that. Oh yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> Got a surfboard going. GT500. If I'm correct, I think this is a police interceptor. Check it out. Nice. Such a great car. Love it. 65. Look at this. Haha. <laughs> crazy. Very cool. Check out this 65 race car. There you go. Nice. <laughs> I'd love to hear that thing run. Oh yeah. Lots of great cars here at the Ponies and the Smokies in Sevierville, Tennessee. They got this 70. 351 Cleveland. The shaker. So cool. Look at that paint. Wow. Very nice. One of the prettiest 70 Mustangs you'll ever see. Love that color. Love the louvers. Just a great car. Very, very cool. Nice. Try my best to talk over the music because I have to add my own music to cover up the music we got in here. So, apologize for that. Nothing I can do about it. This is 69. Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Straight drive. I mean, anti theft device, right? Gorgeous 69. Double headlights. Got the vent on the back. And this one's a shaker. I love these shakers. They just look so great. Very cool ride. Beautiful. Beautiful red. That's an awesome car right there, folks. So, good time to see the differences in the. 70 versus the 69. Very cool. Yeah, I'll check it out. One of our favorite builds from the guys at Flatwood Customs. Love Flatwood Customs. They do incredible work. If you're looking for a hot rod, look no further than Flatwood Customs in Greer, South Carolina. This car is just incredible. I've photographed and filmed this car a few times. I love it. Love it. Love it. We got the 351 Windsor. It's actually a 460 now. Incredible ride. Love this car. Love this car. Gorgeous. Great styling. So many awesome, awesome features on this beauty. But it's it's the best of all worlds right here, folks. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 69 Mustang Mach 1 Flatwood Customs. Love it. Check out this 70, y'all. Coyote Swap 70, that is massive right there. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Even love the color. Awesome ride right there. Check out this 69. The 390. Very cool. That's awesome. Gorgeous 69. Very, very cool. Folks, we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee at the Ponies in the Smokies show 2024. It's some of the greatest cars you've ever seen in your life. If you like a Mustang, you're going to love this show. If you don't like a Mustang, you're probably still going to like this show. There we go. Gorgeous 70. Grabber blue. So nice. So nice. Love it. Oh, yeah. 351 with the shaker. Such a cool ride. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. Check us out. Beautiful 69. 351. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful car. Wish I knew what that color was called. It's not Acapulco Blue. It's similar. Definitely not grabber blue. 
was pretty cool. I like it. All right, here you go. This is an absolute beast right here. 1969 Boss 429. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah. Those Boss 429 engines are no joke. Love those heads. Love those valve covers. I mean, it's basically a Ford Hemi, right? Am I going to get some flack for saying that? Probably. Leave me a comment. Love to hear from you. <laughs> 69 boss 429 that's just incredible incredible we're not done yet here you go y'all right, check out this incredible 70 mustang boss 429 i'm here with my buddy greg how you doing sir i'm doing very well awesome awesome so let's check out your ride tell me a little bit about this car how long have you had it i've had it 45 years wow that's awesome so one of the coolest cars ford ever produced right uh, in my opinion for it sure is, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, love the color, my favorite, grabber blue, can't Thank beat it. You. Thank you. Um, so, tell me a little bit about the history of this car. Well, I'm the third owner of the car. Okay. It's been in the family through the second owner. I bought it from my cousin and her oh, husband. Oh, wow. Uh, they were a lot like me and my wife. Uh, when they got married, they had to liquidate some things. Okay. Uh, when, I'm sure nobody out there has ever built a oh, house or <laughs> had kids and had to liquidate right. cars. But I bought the car the summer of... Uh, 1978 and i gave 2500 dollars for the car wow and, wow uh, so my that... dad hated it from the day i brought it home <laughs> his exact words when he carried me to pick it up was it's your money wasted if you want to wow so uh, i'm sure he's 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 uh looking down on us now with a Absolutely. little chuckle right i had a great respect for that man uh, amen that's one time i went against his uh better judgment <laughs> right well this is just fantastic so Tell me a little bit about um, what what has this car been through in its its uh, progression here. Well, it, it as I said, Hubert Platt had his hands all over it. Um, it had uh, a huge hole cut in the hood. Oh mercy! Uh, two Holly carburetors sticking out of a <laughs> tunnel port intake. It had uh, um, hooker headers. It had the scatter shield and the aluminum okay. flywheel and a super low gear ratio rear wow. end. So this was a race car? It was a race car, yeah. Wow. And uh, when I got a hold of it, I got in a heap of trouble in it. Uh -huh. And my dad did make me park the car. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I have photos to prove that. So I'm starting to understand your dad's reservations now. My dad uh, was not a, uh, uh, a dumb man. <laughs> right, right. And so what we're seeing here was not what your father was seeing. This car exists <laughs> because my dad uh, uh, made me park it right but uh yeah i, I was prone wow. to get in a lot of trouble so you stuff. put a lot into this thing. yes I, uh, as i said I, a lot of the stuff that was off the car i i got with the car uh, okay. that they had removed okay I, I wonderful think somebody had enough foresight not to throw it in the dumpster yeah but uh some of the smaller things i've yeah. had to buy over the years right and, uh, but I've tried to put this car back as correct as I possibly can. Yeah. But now we still drive the car. We That's drive good. It. We, Wonderful. Uh, if you look at it, the underhood is is not the cleanest. It's not a uh, it's, it's not a show car by any means. But uh, uh, we we try to keep it clean enough where we're not ashamed to raise the hood. Hey, I tell you, I love everything about this car. Well, it's um, it, it's an honest car. It really right. is. I, I it had no rust on it. Wow. Uh, all the sheet metal is original. All the glass is original. Wow. The only thing I've done to the interior is carpet, dash pad, and a package tray. Okay. And I had a stereo wow. in it when I was a young man. And, of course, it had the big 6 by 9 speakers back yeah. there, and I just couldn't live <laughs> with that. That is the, the original AM radio that came in the car. Oh, that's I'm awesome. So that, that's the original seat covers. Though, everything you see on the interior wow. except carpet, dash pad, that's and that incredible. package tray came in the car. That's incredible. And it has it has its wear, but uh, oh, it looks fantastic. It's still in great shape. Love the louvers. Yep. Love the the five hundred mags. Yep. Uh, these are the original it, awesome. original wheels. Uh, Very cool. And these cars all came with a battery in the trunk, and the, okay. this is a reproduction of the original battery. Right. Of course, this is the collapsible spare that was totally useless, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's with the car. But hey, it's it, there, It's never right? been out of the car. No, wow. I think we pulled it out. I had to put a new trunk mat in it because the old one was so um, 
brittle, but uh, right now, so the car has been painted. But I how painted, long you painted? The I car? painted the car in I good. can't remember eighty eight or eighty nine. Wow! Yeah. I actually pulled it outside my shop to paint it. I could <laughs> didn't have room in the shop, so we wow. we did what a lot of old timers did. We took the garden hose to the concrete right. outside and yeah, there threw you go. The paint on it. Oh, it's fantastic, and it's <laughs> held up very well to be heck yeah that old. That's amazing, amazing. Brother, it's such a joy to meet you and and talk about this fantastic automobile. I love that you drive the car. Yeah, you know, that's one of my, it, yes. uh, that's, that's that's kind of our mantra. We just, you know, it, it's got to be driven. It's no fun uh, to, to sit in the garage. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. So hey, I, I I was telling my wife yesterday we're we're caretakers at this point there in you go. life. Uh, you know, yeah. you just want to preserve these old cars because you know thirty years from now these kids are. You know, this is all they're going to have of history of these right, things. Right, right. Well, brother, it's a beautiful ride. Thank you. Um, thank, you. thank you so much. It's good to meet you, brother. Good to, good to meet you, and thank you for uh, previewing my car. All right, appreciate it. <laughs> all right. All right, y'all, I'm here at the National Parts Depot uh, booth, and this is Matthew. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing just fine. Doing just good. fine today. Good. So tell me a little bit about Ponies in the Smokies first off. Well, Pony Smokies is an event that started quite a few years ago. Uh, NPD decided to uh, pick up the title sponsorship, uh, I think second year in, and wow. uh, we've enjoyed being part of the event every year. It's a, a nice mix of vehicles. We get everything from classics to late models to brand new S650s over there. And oh, wow. They have a great great setup with doing all the years of the Mustangs around, which that. is a super cool thing. So, you know, you can walk the outside, especially in the building, and get to kind of see how generations and maybe some of the Ford engineers minds kind of have uh, you know grown up over the years so, <laughs> right yeah yeah you can it's really really interesting to see the changes especially the big ones it is very much so yeah. there's some serious jumps when you go from like Fox body to SN95 there's some big jumps there when oh, yeah. you see it so but yeah. yeah it's been a fantastic event uh, we're on we're on day two of the show today so uh, it's busy it was super busy yesterday wow. so it's uh, fantastic. I'm glad to see that the show's continuing to grow and get bigger and bigger for them every year. So I, I think we're getting to the point where this is becoming kind of the the, the show to go to, yeah. you know, in, in, in the uh, in the East Coast. So yeah. it's, it's great. So. I believe you're right. So tell me a little bit about National Parts Depot. How long have you guys been around? Uh, we've been around since '76. Wow. And uh, they've uh, they started with uh, doing T-Bird parts, uh, okay. 55 to 57 Thunderbird parts. Yeah. And then shortly after that, we started doing uh, classic Mustang. Uh, shortly after that, and they kind of uh, now we're up to 13 car lines, wow. including we have some GM lines as well too. But um, you know, we still are still bread and butter is Mustang lines, and now we do Mustang all the way up to 2004 at this point. Now awesome. Maybe. So I'll so. tell you. So when I got my first car. It was a 65 Mustang, and that was about 92. Okay. And I've been ordering parts from National Parts Depot ever since. Yeah. So, you know, I got started with you guys really early on for me. Well, that's you know, that's I, the same. We get that a lot. I mean, obviously, I'm sure. I, I have a lot of people here that, you know, now that maybe have a Fox body or an SN95 car that's been buying parts for us for their classic cars, sure. you know, since the 80s or the 90s in your case, you know. So it's been, it's been interesting, you know, it's like, almost like a family setup where they've yeah. just always been buying parts from us for all their different generations of Mustangs as times have gone on. So, and then we, and what's great is some of the guys have Mustangs, they have Ford trucks or they have a Bronco or they have a Cougar or something like that. So yeah. they have other Ford brands that we do lines for, right. you know, and then they, oh, let me, I need a truck catalog as I get my new Mustang catalog, yeah. you know, so and it's, it's great. I can totally identify with that. You know, I mean, I've, I've had 65 Mustang, now 72 Mustang, had a 71 in there. Plus, my wife has a 60, 69 Chevelle, her dad has a 67 Camaro, <laughs> and so it's like, we've been with you guys, you know, the whole way. Absolutely. And it's it's always fantastic quality parts. Yeah. Everything fits great, you know, it's it's really, really yeah. awesome. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we really strive to make sure that we carry the best restoration parts that are available. Um, and uh, with having the four store locations, we allow it gets parts to people really, really quickly, yeah. which is great. So obviously, you can check on you know check on our website or check in the catalog, see which one's the closest to you. You order from them, and then what I hear a lot from here, especially here because I'm from the Florida location, I right. come up. 
But a lot of the guys that order from people from North Carolina, you could tell because they're like, oh, I order from such and such at that store. I order from such and such. They start to build relationships with those sales staff that are in those particular yeah. store locations because that's just who they use. And it's great. You kind of hear those kind of stories. People go, oh, you're from Florida. Why, why didn't you come from North Carolina? Or, you know, right. or whatever. And I'm like, right. oh, we come up from that store, you know? So yeah, it's like you, you get to really know those people in those individual stores and kind of yeah. build a relationship with them over time. So. Yeah, I love that if I need something, maybe, Maybe I want something that's one of the larger parts. Yeah. I can just drive down to Charlotte and get it. Yeah, that's the other good. I actually had a guy yesterday that was saying that. He's like, I can go to the store and pick up the two front fenders. I said, absolutely. I said, my suggestion, call them real quick. Make sure they got them in stock. I was like, and you can go right up to the counter and pick it up. And they're, and they're open seven days a week. So you can go on the weekends. Yeah. You know, sometimes the week doesn't work for people's schedules. They can go on the weekends. So it really, we really make it as convenient as we possibly can for yeah. people. So, and then obviously the website and the phones are open 24 hours a day, which wow. is a lot of people don't know that. You can call, I've worked that shift before. <laughs> I've been at two o'clock in the morning, but we understand that some people work, you know, night shifts and sure. day shifts, and then they got to get their time to when they can order parts. So we got to be convenient for everyone. And you got a great knowledge staff that's really handy yeah too. yeah it is we I mean I, I can say for every store I've been I've been to every store but the California store personally right. um, but you know walking in there like I said it's like family everybody knows each other and the, the knowledge that everybody has whether if you don't know it you can usually ask the guy sitting next to you maybe he's a he's the Chevelle guy or he's the Camaro guy or he's the Mustang guy yeah. and between everybody it, it really works out well. Everybody kind of has a really good knowledge of the vehicles. And that's, I think, what sets us apart, obviously, yeah. is people call, they have questions about their restoration or a particular part they're looking for, and you get that phone call. You can't necessarily always get that on the web. Sometimes you need that personal right. time attention. And that, again, you can call anytime you want, 24 hours a day, you'll get somebody, you know? And so that, that's really great, because I can remember, you know, 20, 30 years ago, having the catalog and going through the catalog and then calling and talking to somebody. And now having the web and, and you know, with all three of those, yeah. it's really convenient. Yeah, because obviously sometimes you know the certain parts you need and you just want to go on the website, quick order it, maybe on your lunch break or something like that. You're like, I want to just jump on the website and order some parts. But then maybe you're, maybe you're in your garage on a Friday night and you're working on your thing and you're like, man, this just doesn't, you know, I'm like, what do I need here? You can yeah. call the store, they can go, hey, let me walk out or they'll walk you through it. You know, I mean, that's that's a benefit of having that, that staff on, on, on call all the time, you know? Yeah. So it might, you know, maybe the late three o'clock in the morning shift, it might be sleepy, it depends, but, <laughs> but no, it's, it's great having them. And, you know, and, and the question too is, is sometimes you get a part and you're not sure where it goes, or you're not sure if it's the right part. Maybe you ordered the wrong part. Right. You can't necessarily tell that from the website. If you call up, the guys can run out because we stock so much stuff. We wear a 98% fill rate. Yeah. You know, people run out and they can they can pick the part up and walk you through it. Yeah, yep, yeah, you got the right part. That's the right year. Blah blah blah. And just you know, cause some people just want to make sure. You know, they want to confirm right. that. So I'll say, you know, any of you folks doing doing restorations of classics, especially and on up through the years now. Yeah. Now, all the way up to um, four National now, yeah. Parts Depot, that's the way to go. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah, we're, we've got some parts on display for some of our late model line that we did. These are all of our NPD reproduction brands. That's something new that we've been really pushing over the last couple of years that we've awesome. come out with lines of products that we developed, that we that we have manufactured directly for us, for our you know our needs. And, and, and we have some of those parts on display here today. So it's been great. Fantastic. And you just now redid some of the catalogs, correct? Yep. We got all the new 2024 edition catalogs. The, uh, the late model catalog hit literally like last Last week I got oh, it right wow. before we left so we have the new 2024 uh, late model and the new classic uh, out now so you can go on the website request one they'll, they'll ship you one free of charge right to you fantastic so npdlink.com npdlink.com yep. fantastic awesome. good great to talk to you brother no no problem thank you for having me. thank you all right y'all if you didn't like that go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and subscribe to the channel leave us a comment share it with somebody else and go ahead and click on to the next one right here